Hello, hello, hello. So today is Tuesday, April 21. Welcome to my channel. Now I'm going to do again my COVID-19 update. Before I will tackle about Qatar update in coronavirus, I saw some videos that saying coronavirus is made in the lab. So it means it was created by men according to the French virologist uh, who discovered that it's IV. That laboratory is from Wuhan lab. So that is where the coronavirus started. Saying also that China is hoarding uh, world's medical supplies like masks and they are the one also producing it. So what's going on with China right now? We don't know. What's their plan? Curtis He's the policy director with America First Policies. He was also a senior. Why is that? This was deliberately engineered by the CCP. Uh, the Chinese Communist Party handed out an edict to all state and local and provincial officials in China that they have to fill out in triplicate, quadruplicate, without using carbon paper, uh, various forms uh, before they can export medical equipment, which includes PPE, protect, personal protective equipment, face masks, surgical gowns, ventilators, swabs, things like that. Now, because of decisions made by penny-pinching pharmaceutical companies, global multinational corporations, the production of this equipment was outsourced to China, to mainland China, the People's Republic of China, many years ago, beginning after China's accession to the World Trade Organization, and it's being granted permanent, permanent normal trade relations with the United States, that, that is basically low tariffs. Uh, at that point, global corporations closed a lot of their production facilities in the United States and moved them to China, where they could benefit from a regimented labor force that was operating under the command of the Chinese Communist Party and therefore could not ask for higher wages. They were also given uh, hefty incentives by the Chinese Communist Party. Free land, uh, free factories, uh, subsidized energy costs, uh, low or no taxation, low tax rates, export subsidies, because the Chinese Communist Party had a deliberate plan to capture critical industries on a global scale so they could basically, essentially, corner the world's production uh, in crucial industries. And so that's it. China, we need the truth. <laughs> What's the truth behind it? Now, let's go to my Qatar update. The latest update in COVID-19 here in Qatar New cases in last 24 hours is 518. Total cases is 6,533. Recovered cases in last 24 hours, there is 59. Total recovered, 614. And zero deaths in 24 hours, total deaths, 9. So people tested in last 24 hours, 2,105, the total people tested is 66,725, active cases is 5,910. Qatar has become the latest country to receive Cuban medical workers to help tackle COVID-19. Uh, Dr. Abdul Latif Alkal, the co-president of National Pandemic Response Team, press the excellent doctors from friendly Cuba, which had sent the medical staff at Qatar's request. Meanwhile, Cuba has 923 confirmed cases and 31 deaths. Despite being among the world's poorest countries in Caribbean nation, boasts a leading healthcare system. The island's country has long been known for its medical internationalism, also dubbed as doctor diplomacy and sends more medical staff to the developing world. That's great. 
So far, it has dispatched medical staff to some of the countries worst hit by COVID-19, including China and Italy, as well as nearby Haiti, Barbados, Venezuela, and Suriname. Now, we're going to my world meter update. So, today, with my world meter update, in coronavirus, we have now 2,501,898 cases, deaths 171,735, recovered 658,561 active cases, 1,671,602 serious or critical 57,630 three percent and one million six hundred thirteen thousand nine hundred seventy two in my total cases USA seven hundred ninety two thousand nine hundred thirty eight Spain two hundred four thousand one hundred seventy eight Italy one hundred eighty one thousand two hundred twenty eight France one hundred fifty five thousand three hundred eighty three Germany, 147,103. In new cases, on top is Russia, 5,642, followed by Spain, 3,968, Iran, 1,297, Singapore, 1,111, Belgium, 973. That's the top five. Total deaths, number one, 42, USA, 42,518. Italy, 24,114. Spain, 21,282. France, 20,265. UK, 16,509. That's the top five. New deaths, Spain, 430. Sweden, 185 Belgium 170 Netherlands 165 Iran 88 so that's all my world meter update that's all for my update today and uh, please watch this clip from Hamad Medical be safe and God bless I will share you also a video clip of Hamad Medical Corporation, a message from the Hamad Trauma Center in support of national COVID-19 efforts. The ongoing national COVID response has imposed very high demands on the health sector in Qatar, but we want to assure the public that the dedicated team of doctors and nurses of the Hamad Trauma Center are ready and prepared to provide 24-7 world-class trauma care for all residents of Qatar who are victims of trauma. In order to reduce the load on the health sector and better protect the frontliners of the national COVID response, Hamad Trauma Center would like to appeal to the public to reduce the number of the traffic victims. For every injury we see, there will be more masks, gowns, and infection protection equipment for our frontliners. More ventilators will be used, more ICU and hospital beds will be filled, more healthcare teams will be exposed to the risk of infection, and hospital resources will be focused and directed to strengthen our national COVID response. The Hamad Injury Prevention Program of the Hamad Trauma Center appeals to the public to do the following to enhance road safety not to become a victim of unnecessary injury and to reduce the load on our health sector as they respond to COVID.